All right, so in the previous video, I had mentioned that I wanted to add uh, some navigation so that we could really click through our application and, and actually get whichever one of the component that we want without having to have to like hide them in some essence. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. We're going to try and put together some sort of navigation or tabs to help with that uh, situation. So what I'm going to do is to open this in my browser. Uh, let me just type localhost. A. And here we go. What we're seeing here is just uh, the first component, well, not the first, the last component that we built, which is this registration component. So what I want is maybe a tab at the top here that will just basically show uh, the names of each of the components and then we can just click to show, uh, hide or show which of, any, which of them. So where is the project? We only have the app, so we don't we do not have any view just yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna add these in a v app and a v main, which does not seem to be working, but it wasn't ever working before. So and maybe put it in a v container as well this is how I, I do my layout for the most part and then here we'll have we'll have this now in here i'm going to go ahead and create a v tabs and then a v tab v tab I believe it's v tab I believe it's there's a I believe there's a v tab I'm pretty sure there's a v tab component it's just not showing with this snippet thing that, that is here I'm seeing v tab item but I'm pretty sure there's a v tab uh yeah I'm pretty sure of it and the first one we created was the login the login component and I can just go ahead and just uh, duplicate uh, copy these the best thing to do would would to make this dynamic but uh, for now we can just add all of these three just to get rid of the work so register and forgot password so let's save this and see what it looks like in the browser all right that looks a lot better let's see what we're, we're not seeing anything it's not loaded as yet There we go. So you can see there is a V tab. Uh, there is just it wasn't showing. So it was highlighting the first one that is there. I may want to put this to the center, but I don't think it really matters, especially if we're going to have a lot of them going across. So what I, what, what I want to do is that when I click on this, it will show me the this comp. Well, it will show me this component. And I click on the forget password, it will show me the forget password component. So let us do that now by going into here and having a data property. And what we could do is we could pretty much just have. 
three of the so we could have a login which is going to be equal to true by default uh, register is going to be equal to false and um, forgot password and this is just one way of doing this I mean there are a lot of way, other ways that I can do this but this is the one I'm going for because I think it's pretty simple and actually falls well it's gonna be true so on click our click what we're gonna do is these v if that we have here i'm gonna change them to well i'm gonna leave it to if i was thinking about uh show v show but i want it to be removed from the dom so this is why i'm actually using the v if so we're gonna have a login on this and we're gonna have um way to have we're gonna have forgot password on this one and uh, this one the if and this one we're going to have a uh, register and uh, if I should save this we should pretty much see the same thing but before I do that I'm gonna actually just go ahead and um, attempt to implement this thing here so we're gonna go for add click and add click what we want to have here is that we want to make the login equal to login and this to some extent doesn't make any sense because it's, it's, it's gonna always be true so by by default this is like default to always be be true but here this is where it, it gets interesting where we're going to make uh login well this should be true actually my mistake and this will be true register actually so register will be true and um and the login is going to be equal to false so login is going to be equal to false and this is the same thing for this here where this is um forget password this is going to be true login is going to be false and um register is going to be false as well so register is going to be false login is going to be false as well so let us save this because it's just simple there are better ways to do this but it's a simple implementation of this and i left the comma off of here save that again all right so let's see what this looks like in the browser all right so so by by default this is uh login is equal to true if we click on register you can see the register component here if we click on forget password you can see that we get a forget password here click back on login we get back login and it's pretty much very basic i mean you can get the understanding of where we are but again as i mentioned before this is really really not the best implementation a computed property uh is the best would be the best way to go about doing this which is what we may look at in the next video but at least for now you can see how we can add tabs to actually uh navigate between between these uh forget password isn't working forget login is working forget password 
something is wrong with register let's see what is wrong with register okay I think it's because I did not add this here to be false as well so let's just add that there right, so this is false let's save that and uh, do I need to do a refresh all right so register okay password register login that is pretty much it is quite simple to do it's not the best implementation and definitely it's not i don't think it's something i would recommend again computer properties which is what i may look at in the next video so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one